Now to continuing coverage of the search for the suspects in the death of Chicago police officer Luis Wesca. NBC5 Investigates has learned that Officer Wesca's service weapon has been recovered. Police found it in the home of a man connected to the main suspect in the case. Sandra Torres is live for us from Markham to explain more about this. Sandra. Uh, Marion, that's right. That 20 year old is Cassius Tate, and he's being described so far as an associate of the suspect, uh, Xavier Tate. And this morning, Cassius Tate has a court hearing scheduled here at the Markham Courthouse. However, that hearing has not happened just yet. He's facing multiple charges, uh, including a burglary in Brighton Park, but those charges are unrelated to the case of Officer Weska. Here's what we can tell you. The 20 year old is in custody and a police report states that police arrested him after conducting an investigation into the death of Officer Weska at a home in Morgan Park. Now the report indicates that Cash Estate was discarding a firearm over a fence into a neighboring yard and that firearm was a Glock semi-automatic pistol. NBC5 investigates has now confirmed with law enforcement that the Glock was indeed Officer Weska service weapon. Here's what Superintendent Snelling said after Officer Weska's funeral yesterday. Our detective division, our officers are working. They have not stopped working since this happened. Um, and there have been some major, major breaks and other leads. What I can tell you is uh, the, the officer's weapon was recovered, which I know that was reported. Um, and that was done through some great, great work um, by our detectives and by other members of the Chicago Police Department. Now, meantime, the FBI is involved in the search for Xavier Tate in a most wanted poster. There's new information about a tattoo on the side of his neck with the word majesty. The wanted poster asks for assistance in locating him, noting that he should be considered armed and dangerous, and he has ties or may have visited places like Chicago, Aurora, Olympia Fields, Champaign, Indicator, Illinois as well. There's a $100,000 reward right now for any information that may lead to the arrest and conviction of Xavier Tate. In the meantime, we will wait to see what happens and develops here at the Markham Courthouse in relation to the cases for Cassius Tate against in connection with that investigation. Reporting live from the Markham Courthouse, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News. Seems to be some momentum in the investigation at this point. Thanks so much, Sandra. Appreciate it. Tonight, the search for a killer continues. Investigators named a suspect in the murder of Chicago police officer Luis Huesca. While that suspect hasn't been caught, another man has. NBC5's Charlie Wojciechowski is in the studio to explain the connection to this particular case. Charlie. Well, Marion, we're learning more about the investigation through the actions of groups like the Great Lakes Regional Task Force, who made a significant arrest Friday, a man they hope will lead them to Huesca's killer. His name is Cassius Tate, and he was in court today. The hearing took place here in the Markham Courthouse, where 20-year-old Cassius Tate is facing an aggravated unlawful use of a weapons charge. He appeared before a judge in tan jail clothing, entering a plea of not guilty. He was ordered held as a danger to the community. Prosecutors say Cassius Tate tried to dispose of Officer Luis Huesca's gun, which was recovered near a home on the 1800 block of South Hale. They say the Fugitive Task Force went to that home on Friday to talk to a woman. Tate answered the door and then told them to wait because his girlfriend was naked in a back room. Another officer then observed Tate leave through a back window and use a lawn chair to toss an item over a fence. That item was Huesca's gun, which prosecutors say had some of the digits of the serial number scratched off. Near the lawn chair, prosecutors say they found the magazine. Cassius Tate is described as an associate of Xavier Tate Jr., the man charged with Huesca's murder. Tate Jr. can be seen in numerous surveillance videos in various shops in Huesca's Gage Park neighborhood. He has not been seen since. The FBI now lists Tate Jr. on its most wanted list and has released this poster describing him, noting a tattoo on the right side of his neck with the word majesty under a crown and additional tattoos on his chest and body. It says he has ties and may visit Olympia Fields, Champaign and Decatur. He is considered armed and dangerous. The Fraternal Order of Police and a number of other organizations are offering a $100,000 reward for information that leads to his arrest and conviction. 
Cash's tape was on pre-trial release at the time of his arrest in connection with the Richton Park burglary. He is due back in court on May 15. Mary and Alex. All right, thank you, Charlie. Where is he? Chicago police tonight are still looking for the killer who gunned down Officer Luis Huesca. We're learning more now about a man police say is connected to the suspected shooter. Investigative reporter Bennett Haberly is here with what could be a big clue in this case. Bennett? Yeah, Stefan, while police have been searching for Xavier L. Tate Jr., a person connected to him, Cash Tate appeared in court after police say he was found attempting to dispose of Officer Huesca's gun. 20-year-old Cassius Tate stood before a judge in a Cook County courtroom in Markham Tuesday on unrelated burglary and criminal trespassing charges stemming from an incident earlier this month. But the judge agreed to keep him in jail because of what police say happened Friday at a house near 108th and South Hale. Chicago police were there continuing their investigation into the shooting death of Officer Luis Huesca. Court records show as officers approached the front door, Cassius Tate told them to hold on because his girlfriend was naked in the bedroom. It was then that an officer conducting covert surveillance on the property noticed a male, later identified as Cassius Tate, allegedly tossing a gun over the fence into the yard next door. A chair was also found outside the house near a bedroom window. Officers recovered a Glock, confirmed to be the service weapon of Officer Weska. In court, prosecutors said some of the serial numbers on the gun had been scratched off. It had been missing ever since Weska was fatally shot near his Gage Park home on April 21st after returning home from his shift with Chicago police. Authorities have been asking for help in locating Xavier L. Tate Jr., said to be connected to Cassius. A wanted poster states Xavier Tate should be considered armed and dangerous. An arrest warrant charges him with first-degree murder and alleges he used a 40 caliber gun to kill Officer Huesca. A number of agencies, including the FBI, the ATF, Crime Stoppers, and the Chicago Police Fund are offering up a $100,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. Tonight, Chicago Police tell us there is no update in this investigation. Allison. Bennett, thank you for those new details.